G'day and welcome to Sumo's Projects. On this video I'm going to be building a table saw sled uh, mainly because I dropped my other one and it snapped in half. As for the material it's form ply and the base of this is going to have a length of 860 millimeters and also a width of 600 and using uh, miter saw runners to get this project up and running. These uh, miter runners have the ability to be adjusted to take any slack out of the uh, positioning. Now, I've lined up uh, on the table saw where I want this to be uh, sort of glued up uh, in positioning wise. And then I'm using some super glue and some of this um, accelerator. So what you'll see here is I'll put it down against the fence uh, for alignment and then this will adhere very, very quickly and uh, you're able to pull it up straight away. After securing the runners with the screws, I then position it and see how it felt um, to see if the alignment was going good and any adjustments needed to be made. So a bit of a clean up. And now I'm going about making my uh, primary fence. Now I had a bit of oak which I had for years and it was really really uh, smooth to start with so just a little bit of a clean up on all faces. Then head over to the router table where I'll be putting a round over on three faces and I'll explain more why I didn't do that on the four faces. Next part of the process I thought I'd show you just uh, the changeover as I do it on my particular setup uh, is to release the uh, collet and uh, take this round bit, round over bit out and I'm going to put a chamfer bit in now. So the chamfer bit will be the bit that's on the uh, bottom of the fence that rides up against uh, the material. So that's important because uh, you get dust build up in that area and if you, if you weren't to put a chamfer uh, you may end up you know, having dust there and putting your workpiece against it, and uh, that'll that'll mean inaccurate cuts. Off to do a little bit of sanding and pre-prep now. Uh, sanding this down to about a 320 grit, which is uh, quite ample, satisfactory, and um, ensuring not to, you know, sort of hold it down in one spot on the front face anyway. Um, I've just got this new um, finish, it's a hard wax oil and um, it's my first time trying it out so I'm pretty excited by that, uh, they're all the rage nowadays and I think, uh, yeah, a little sniff, it's not, there's very little odour, that's probably what surprised me the most anyway, so I'm um, going to apply this and uh, see what it looks like. Well, initial thoughts, I must uh, put in capital letters, wow, this stuff is uh, absolutely beautiful. It just, uh, it doesn't need much to spread a long way, so I've, uh, I've applied it liberally as this is basically the first coat. Um, so it's supposed to uh, penetrate into the wood, but add a bit of a, a hard top surface, um, which is durable. And I think these products are used in flooring, so it has to have uh, be set up for wear and tear. One thing I do really need to have here is a T-track. Uh, so I'll position this to run through, uh, once again on the router table, with a, a straight bit. And um, I'll take this in several passes and then uh, make sure that the T-track fits in nicely. Um, I'm applying the uh, super glue here once again and one thing I don't do anymore because this is not going to be pulled out I mean I'm only putting a, a stop lock here so I'm just using another bit of t-track to hold that down and clamp it into position um, it should work pretty good
using a carpenter square to line up my table saw fence with the fence on the crosscut sled. I'm not using the five cut method um, because I think everything I've checked in alignment is very accurate on my table saw. So I'm attaching uh, screws, one screw into the, the main fence and then the back fence uh, a couple of screws so we can do initial cuts. But also making sure I'm pre-drilling um, a little bit of a pilot hole to go through the hardwood side. Here we go. Here's the, uh, the first cut, gradually sort of building it up. Um, and then I'm using a very accurate square to align to the blade and uh, a few test cuts. I am very, very happy with the accuracy of the setup with uh, the squares I used. Um, so confident that it's a good way to do it as well. Uh, adding additional screws here to secure the uh, base to the the both back and front fence. And then I'm cutting a, a dado out here on this bit. This bit is the bit that's going to be the safety part uh, that's going to be glued on to the back of the front fence. And this will eliminate any chance of... Uh, you know, you're cutting yourself or hurting yourself uh, because there'll be a bit of a guard at the back. I found I had to cut another part to glue to the initial because I didn't have enough uh, in the, the first part. But um, just gluing this on and then clamping it. I'd just like to say at this stage, I don't ask people anymore to subscribe because uh, I would like it better if you think my videos are worthy of a subscription and uh, I appreciate then if you do go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Anyway, carrying on here, we've got the uh, making the part that's going to be the stop block and uh, this is quite easy, T-Track. A T bolt, and you cut yourself a piece. It's uh, going to act as a stop. I salvaged these handles from my other table saw sled, and uh, I thought I can use these still. So, just reversing a little bit here, I made a few parts that would allow me to have uh, hold down pressure, and then just added a nut to uh, hold anything into position safely. Okay, so we're at a bit of a stage here where we can take a few uh, test cuts just to demonstrate the effectiveness of having a, a table saw sled. They're, they're a wonderful thing. Uh, you, you know, you, you can sort of cut down boards uh, that have a, on this one a capacity of a, a width of 520 millimeters. So that's quite a bit of uh, room to work with and a lot of panel boards are actually um, you know, come within this size frame. Uh, it, it sort of takes over where the miter saw capacity finishes. So, and anything that's larger than that can be basically safely fed through uh, just through normal table saw uh, operation. A very super effective tool jig to have in the workshop is the uh, the sled. Make your own. Uh, workshop sleds and other jigs it's, it's great fun uh, because you have the capacity to um, be able to you know make them your own styling and that so that's a great thing uh, another example here cutting out a dado or just a groove um, obviously I have, this is not allowing for the blade but um, if I was to have a kerf maker um, I could probably demonstrate the effectiveness of uh, joining parts like this so um, just another option to keep in mind guys um, you can clean these out just by wiggling it through and job's done beautiful unfortunately I don't have plans for this uh, project but um, if you watch the video a few times it's pretty self-explanatory uh, an easy thing to make so Thank you very much for uh, viewing the, this particular video and uh, I hope you get something out of it and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Hooroo!